Cardiobites. What is the role of systemic inflammation and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and heart failure? Systemic inflammation drives the progression of atherosclerosis in stable disease, and in the acute phase, incites plaque destabilization leading to acute coronary syndrome or myocardial infarction and stroke, either embolic or ischemic cerebrovascular events. Systemic inflammation causes microvascular dysfunction and promotes maladaptive cardiac remodeling, which in turn can contribute to the development of heart failure, both with preserved ejection fraction and reduced ejection fraction. Inflammation also activates the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, which then causes vasoconstriction and fluid retention with symptoms of heart failure. Inflammation also increases circulating cytokines, such as interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha, which can promote fibrosis and hypertrophy of cardiac muscle. Inflammation contributing to ASCVD and heart failure can affect anyone. Those with additional risk factors for ASCVD or conditions that cause systemic inflammation are at higher risk. Examples of these comorbidities include diabetes, obesity, and chronic kidney disease. Those with cardiomyopathy who are not treated or undertreated with guideline-directed medical therapy are at higher risk for poor outcomes. It is also important to note that those with additional comorbidities may have a worse prognosis. Inflammation is the proximate cause of myocardial dysfunction causing injury. It can occur as acute or chronic inflammation of the heart muscle and ranges from a recoverable syndrome to one that leads to chronic heart failure. Examples of cardiomyopathies due to inflammation include lymphocytic myocarditis as seen in viral myocarditis or Chagas, giant cell myocarditis, cardiac sarcoidosis, myocarditis associated with connective tissue disorders, and toxic or drug-induced cardiomyopathies, including those due to chemotherapy agents and illicit substances such as alcohol, cocaine, and methamphetamine. In summary, inflammation occurs in most forms of myocardial injury. It plays a significant role in atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and in both acute and chronic forms of heart failure. Inflammation pathways may be a target for therapeutic agents. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Novo Nordisk. Novo Nordisk did not review this content. My name is Meg Frazier. I am a nurse practitioner at the University of Minnesota in the Division of Advanced Heart Failure and Cardiac Transplant. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.